Hello, today I'm going to show you how to remove thermostat on Ford Mondeo. You have some talks here, another one here, and for sure, another one will be down. So, let's remove uh, all this thing around and let me show you how to remove it. So, I think that you need, you need Torx uh, 25. Let's see if it will fit there. Yes, it fits properly. So I'm going to remove it. Let's see you. So nothing difficult so far at this level. You just need to remove it like this. And thermostat is sitting down there. Uh, because it's not so difficult, right? You just need to remove like this and you come here. Let me try to see if I can remove this, this one. I need to bring the appropriate tool, I think so, because I don't have the appropriate tool here with me. It is running always. Okay, I'm going to bring the appropriate tool for it. It is so cold, so you need something like this. And with something like this, it is easy to, to remove it, but you need first to release it like this. As soon as you, you grab it, and it'll be easy, you see? And it'll be easy to remove it. You just now need to fight to remove this one. This tool is very important, you know, you see? You just do it like this. And you remove it. And this is the thermostat that we, are, that we need. Also, I think that with uh, with the same tool, you need to unblock here like this. You need to unblock it and release the object. Now you come here again. You press it like this. I'm working one hand, so uh, yes, you release it like this. Then what you need to do next is just to try to hold the object that you want to hold, right? And remove it back. And remove it back and release here. You see how I release it. Now with the same tool, you can make it more bigger and hold the object that you want to remove also, like this, and play with it around. Okay. But I don't even need this one. I just want I just want to show you how to work. I don't even need this one. Just want to show you how stuff work. Okay, guys, see you. What I, what I just want to show you is was how to remove the the thermostat. What I'm doing now is uh, really useless because I don't need all this pipe. I need only thermostat. And before you remove something, you need always to look. You need, you need always to see carefully how it was. You look carefully how it was because you want to put it back, so you know how problem. I need now to remove it from here. Uh, it is stuck there. It is stuck there, you see? And when it's like this, it's good. Because sometimes, if this rubber fell, right, water will always passing, 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 and your engine will not reach the normal normal temperature. You see how it's stick there? For in some case, if this rubber fell, water will always pass, 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 and you notice very well this little, this little side at the top. It's not for nothing. They have their, their place, you see? How it's seal, you see how it's seal? And if this rubber fell, uh, your coolant will be passing always. Little coolant will be passing always. And it will be difficult for the engine to reach the normal temperature. Okay, guys, that is everything. Uh, let me... So, it's like this. Uh, I remove it. And I was speaking about this, uh, this rubber, right? If this rubber fell, sometimes your coolant will be passing always, passing always. And your engine will not reach the good temperature. Okay.
this is all for today uh, and also you notice how it was you notice because uh, you, see, you see that little place there I want to show you something you see that little hole there it's very important it's very very important it shouldn't be down it should be up always like that okay see you bye like and subscribe